Hey guys, what's up? This is Ziploc Rules 2013, and welcome back to Let's Play We Party. In today's episode, we're finally starting with the pair games after doing three rounds of bingo. That was ridiculous, and they all blazed by. Balance Boat, on the other hand, can blaze by and did blaze by on my test recording that I did a few nights ago, not knowing if I was going to do bingo again. Um, I tried to record beginner mode in Balance Boat and failed. And I'll just, uh, y you'll see why, but anyway, Balance Boat. Try to balance 20 me characters on the boat without tipping it over. Teamwork is the key to victory. But your teammate is a computer, so it's a little bit uh, dependent on whether or not the CPU, the AI, is going to be fucking stupid or not. Now, time attack is just um, basically time trials and Mario Kart meets balance boat. Not really anything remarkable. I'm not even going to show it off, I don't think. Pierre, I'll take Pierre. Last time we had Lucia, the ping pong champion from Wii Sports Resort. And uh, it didn't quite end well, and you're going to see why that might be. Here you are, balance boat, double up, beginner mode. We're going to show all the difficulties off course here we are balance boats no we're not gonna explain it excuse me we're not gonna explain it through the games method but basically you have the three posts the three tiers maybe uh, three different colors you're gonna get me's that are gonna uh, correspond to those colors and the size and type of me that you're gonna get or color going to depend on your performance in these mini games. And they're all pair mini games. We've not played a single pair mini game quite yet. Here we've got the escape mini game. The AI is a little slow. I'll tell you that. Yeah, they're a little uh, stupid too. They, they uh, wait a second after you start moving and then respond to what you're doing. Which can really throw things off. I'm kind of used to playing this with my buddy who is, you know, uh, smart and good at playing games. And uh, we didn't have anywhere near as much trouble as I usually do when we play with computers. So obviously they... You're going to see the whole delay thing, by the way, when it comes to uh, balancing these me's. Because you can put your me down. The AI will hover their cursor over the little post pedestal thing and wait to decide if they actually want to put their me there. I'm gonna put it there. Put it down. Put it down. Oh, yeah. That's normal. That is unfortunately normal. Now, the reason I did that is because you generally want to leave the middle open. Because uh, if you fail a mini game, we pass that one. So we got two different colors. Sometimes they'll be the same color. Um, but if you get if you fail, you'll get, they may be the same color, but one will be really small, one will be really big and heavy. Okay, this, uh, no, that's not, that's not a good start. I used to like this minigame. Apparently, I got 900 one time. I don't know if it maxes out at 999 or, or what, but I remember having a good time with this minigame. It's a neat little challenge. Um challenge in that you can easily just barely glide over these stupid hearts. Obviously, if you run out of energy, uh, you come crashing down, and usually that means you're going in the water. But, uh, uh, like that. And this is a fun little minigame. I mean... I don't know, it's a little too easy for the first stretch, and then it gets really hard, really fast, which kinda throws me off a lot. And, okay. Let's see how far I can go. It doesn't really take that long. Oh, really? Really? Oh, whoa, okay. This might be it. This might be it. Okay, no, not quite. Wow, we we uh we cut the cord a little close there. We were cutting down to the wire there. Get the heart. Okay, 
Yeah, once you run out, it kind of you'll oh okay you'll uh basically run out of breath and uh, you'll come tumbling down. If you run into a heart, obviously you're okay. Wait, wait don't fall. You can see it right there. Ah, no, no, we're we're done. We're done. Oh, I was close to my record, 806. 806 yards. Not too bad. Um. Put the meat out. Wow. See if you wait a little bit. They actually kind of do it fast. See, a human being... A smart one, at least, would just drop the damn me on the ship. If you make a wrong move, or, or put it somewhere where the AI doesn't like, and they have to re rethink their strategy, they basically go, okay, let me just hold my cursor here and decide for the next 10,000 years whether or not I want to actually drop the me here. Uh, this is one of my favorite little pair mini games. To color coordinate. A lot of color coordinating. Okay. I have to go up here. Do not. You can, uh, if you go off while someone's... Or if you let off the color they're on. They'll actually fall through the crowd. It's really funny. Um. But yeah, that's a fun little mini game. I love that theme they play when you clear the mini game. See, I like that. The AI is actually thinking this time. It's like, okay, generally, if the boats balance, they will just put the me as close to the center as they can. It's good to have the center open, though. You know, it's just, it's just better. <clears throat> generally, have better luck. Here's the pop gun posse. I guess remix or redux. <laughs> I like this. Start. Town ain't big enough for the two of us. Uh, random line from a western. <laughs> I haven't watched any westerns recently. Oh wait, third can. Computer, please. I don't really know many lines from westerns though. <laughs> Wish I could quote someone like Clint Eastwood or John Wayne or something. You know the the goats of of uh, westerns, but eh, I guess I don't watch them often enough. It's really. Really remember many remarkable lines. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just not in the right mood for it. Sometimes I just remember things like that on the fly. But... There we go. I'm going to put you over there. Please put it down. Holy crap. He didn't really need to go that far over, Pierre. <laughs> there you go. I like that little island in the background there with all the palm trees. Looks like a winter, a uh, winter getaway, uh, paradise. Ah, oh, this this mini game. I haven't played this in forever. Flashlight frights, scaring the the ghosts away. And uh, basically, some of them you're gonna need uh, two flashlights for. Oh god, they're so freaky. This one you need both flashlights on. There you go. Uh, and the ghost can actually steal your partner away from you, too. And, uh, if they go away, pretty much you're screwed and you lose. God, go away! Those big guys, we're getting close. There we go. Pierre, you could really help out with the red guys? Come on. You can actually... Do something. I know. I know. It's shocking. You helping out. You know, my my own partner helping out. I know. It's very, very hard to imagine, right? There we go. This guy down. Eventually, he shrinks to normal size and kind of flies around. Or, well, he ends up flying around because you have to shine your flashlight on these other ghosts. Get this guy down. Or he can come back up and haunt us. Holy crap! Some of these guys are just trolls, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, those ones that just kind of went away and didn't 
respond to my flashlight were just trolls. They don't really hurt you. Clear! There is later on, or in certain instances, an actual clear, like, uh, uh, voice clip from the announcer. Please put the me down. Why? Why is that a thing? I, I don't understand. What what purpose could that possibly serve? Balance. The AI does not rethink its decision, by the way. Like, it doesn't just point one way and then point the other out of nowhere. That is not a thing that I've ever seen. If it is, it's... Start. And I just whacked the side of my freaking headset. If it is, I've never seen it. Fun little mini game. Shooting hoops. I don't really like watching basketball. I don't mind playing it in real life, but and um, oh, gotta time it right. Rhythm based. Uh, but I actually like playing it in video games. Um, at least a lot better than watching it on TV or something. Am I imagining? No, I think I'm thinking of We Party You. There's a similar mini game to this, but you get a, a gold ball that's worth like three every once in a while. I, I think that's... I, I don't think that's a thing here. What? Why would you... Oh, well, no, I could have fit between the check me out me and that... that girl there. I don't know why he thought weighing it over to the side more would help. I guess... Eh, eh, not necessarily more. Oh, this stupid minigame. Meet and greet. Complete RNG. The pure luck fest. Start. I only get three doors and she gets four. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. I'm dizzy now. Oh no. Okay. Nice. Now the center door. Nope. I've got a giant tire. Oh my god. Oh, what a stupid minigame. What a stupid minigame. Hey, Pierre. Confirmed from the outfit, he is a man, apparently. I could never tell when I was a kid, just from the hair. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the only person who thought that or what. Put her down. Please put her down. Oh, God. It's... This fucking game. Balance. I hate that. They, there's literally nothing you can do. You can just stand there and pray that they'll put the stupid me down. Um, I think I'm close enough that... Oh, I need, like, rumble, right? Is it rumble or speaker, maybe? Uh, oh, fuck. There we go. Oh, listen to my speaker. Found another one! Giant bass or whatever. Swordfish, maybe. We actually ate swordfish the other night for dinner. It's pretty good. Really expensive, actually. Nice. I'm thinking of a different minigame where you absolutely have to have the rumble and the speaker. Both of which I basically never used. Look, look at our eyes, like, ooh, look at that. Dinner! I see supper! What? I pulled up on that. That's stupid. Okay. Turn that garbage off. I'm sorry, I hate using either Rumble or the speakers on a Wii remote. It's like Black Ops 4, where it forces you to listen to this annoying ass, like, um, thanks a lot, Jesus, you almost tipped us over. It's like, uh, Black Ops 4, that stupid countdown thing that it forces you to listen to at the end of each match. On top of Black Ops 4 just being trash compared to every other Call of Duty, basically, I've ever played. That was annoying, that they would purposefully put that in just to annoy the shit out of you. I like this one. Always wait for the computer, because the computer... Oh, no. Okay. Oh, gotta match the flame color. What? Okay. Oh, 
Okay. I forget how this works. I forget how that flame mechanic works. This I remember. You have to get to the gate with a significant enough amount of time remaining. Otherwise, you're kind of screwed because you have to you have to mash the button basically to to get through the final gate. Stand right where it's gonna knock your face in, Pierre. Jeez. And ah, oh, this stupid shit. <laughs> this dumb section. I don't know if there's actually a way you can fail this or what. Okay. Smash to mash, mash the crap out of the two button. This is why you need to have a lot of time left. Get it up there. Ah. I think it was the Runaway Guys playthrough where they were Chugga was just screaming. This the timer counted down and Tim and John failed it. We got the treasure. Got me booty. Lots of treasure. Good grief. Did we get to keep it? The game just moved on. What the hell? All right, awesome. We used up all the center. All right. At this rate, if we lose, I'm not going to bother re-taping this or re-recording this. It was at least worth doing last time because it was on, like, the tenth me or something. But, honest to God, this mode is so dumb to play with a computer that uh, sometimes it's just worth it. Oh, this stupid goddamn minigame. There's a single, there's a four-player version of this too, right? Pretty sure I'm remembering that right. And it sucks. This one sucks even more. Because you can have a shitty teammate that ruins everything. On top of it just being really... Or you can just have them push you into the freaking asteroids. You can stop running into literally everything, Pierre. Barely bonk the side of that. Please, yes. Okay. I was gonna say, the freaking goal better be here. Yeah, I remember. I played this for a couple of years, I think, before I ever beat expert mode of balance boat. Like, it just did not go well. There we go. That should be fine. That should balance out almost perfectly, yeah. That's balanced perfectly, actually. Nice. Balance. Balanced. What are these voice samples? They're so weird. Nice sob job. Nice sob. Nice job, Zip and Pierre. You cleared beginner. Whoopee. Yay. Love how spaced out all the other me's are. There we are. Beginner. It's not hard with a per another person playing, obviously, but man, with a computer, even beginner can be kind of tough. But anyway, that was beginner mode of balance boat ladies and gentlemen in the next episode of let's play we party we will be covering intermediate mode you're gonna see a shift in the time of day it's gonna look really pretty but uh that being said i'm gonna go ahead and sign off so i hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you in the next one peace